Welcome back to the Kent State Hot Shop. Today we're going to be demonstrating the cube demo. So real quick, let's look at the tools that you guys need. So we have our jacks, our tweezers. We have the masher tool, which lives under the marver. It's down here. We have the calipers, which are preset to two and a quarter inches. We have two of these, and they live in the toolbox where all the rest of the tools live. And then we have a measuring tape to make sure that we have the correct measurements. And that lives in the classroom in the red toolbox in there. So we'll set this up on the bench. I like to take the calipers and leave them at the bench because it's easy for me to double check my sizes and everything like that. But you can also put it on the marver and double check it there if you'd like. And another tool that we're gonna introduce today is the glory hole. So when you need to flash or reheat your piece, essentially reintroducing heat into the glass, you'll come over here set your honey rod on what's called the yoke and there's a little foot pedal here to help you move the yoke on the rails and that just helps you put the glass inside and get a little heat back into the glass itself to rework it. We have these little handles and in case you need to open the door for whatever reason you have that opportunity to be able to do so. And I used two terms earlier, flash and reheat. I just want to go over what that is. So a flash is a really quick introduction of heat, just a couple seconds to get the glass just happy and stay warm. And a reheat is when you reintroduce a lot of heat. I like to think about it where a flash, the glass might be moving just like a tiny, tiny bit, but a reheat is where you're introducing so much heat that it is moving quite a bit and you're getting that color back in with the heat, so that like yellowish kind of orange color in the clear glass. Another tool that I wanna show you guys today are the bigger punny rods. So we have the ones that you guys have been using, and then we also have ones that are just slightly bigger. It'll make it easier for you guys to turn. And you notice the tips are very similar. It just makes it easier for you guys to turn. So you're more than welcome to use these for your cube demo. All right, so let's begin. I'll start with my first gather. amount there. You want to make sure it stays even and clean by turning consistently. And at this point you guys have probably heard me a lot or saying a lot to turn nice and smooth between both hands. And if it starts to come off center, don't speed up really quick because that's going to throw it off a lot faster. You know, look at the glass, make sure you're in control of the situation. Don't freak out and get super fast hands. Slow it down and turn nice and smooth and it'll be alright. So we're about to go in for our second dip. And my partner, when we come out to make the cube, my partner is going to take the masher and get all the sides in the bottom and that will create the basic shape for the cube. And I will do the turning and the flipping so then we can get all the sides. I'm gonna push it slightly forward as I'm coming out of the glass to collect a little bit more. We want enough to be able to actually make the cube itself. So I stay nice and balanced. I can hang it down slightly to get some of the glass off the tip. 
I don't want a lot of the glass on the putty rod because I won't be able to use it. So I stretch it out. I shape. Draw that glass off to the tip. Hang it back slightly to squat up your form. And then I'll have my partner go on the sides. Smash. Go on the long sides. And then on the bottom. And then we have the basic form for the cube. And you notice we have a lot of heat in there still. But I'm gonna go take a quick reheat and get a lot of heat in there because it's not moving as much as I would like it to to get that neckline in. So it's hard to see, but we weren't moving very much when we came off of the marmer because the marmer is a heat suck and it likes to take out all of the heat of the inside the glass. So we're going for a reheat, getting that glass nice and hot and moving. That'll make it really easy for us to get our neckline. And we're turning both directions, left and right. That way our cube doesn't twist up. You'll see there's a lot more heat in there. So I'll hang it down slightly as I go to the, uh, to the bench. Then it'll give me space to put my neckline in. Start with my jacks nice and straight, pick them out with a little curve. I can take the back of my jacks and switch that form back into shape. And I can go back and reestablish my neckline. Notice as well that my hand, when I'm turning, go from the fingertips all the way to the palm. I'm not rolling up onto my arm and I'm keeping my thumb above the putty, not below. I'm not grabbing it, and we're not like driving a motorcycle. We're just turning. So we get that basic shape, and then we're going to price check to see how close we are. So a little off on that side, right pretty much on the money, that one. We're also gonna check our length, which is pretty good. We're pretty close. So you'll make adjustments from there. If you're gathering and you only have half of what you need, take a little bit more. If you're way over this, like the glass doesn't fit inside of there, then you're quite a bit over what we need, but you should be pretty close with the two gathers. So if you look at the glass, you'll see that there's a lot of heat inside. And we talked about when you go to the marver, it makes a colder shell on that surface that keeps a lot of the heat on the inside. So what we need to do is wait it out, let that glass cool down a little bit so it doesn't slump in the annealer. So I'm gonna hang out, watch that color dissipate from the punny and the glass itself. And then we're going to take a small flash. So Instead of being in there like the reheat where we let it get nice and moving and really, really hot, we're just going to be in there for a couple of seconds to keep the glass happy. That way we can put it away and it can just come down overnight. So I like the color in that. Notice it's not super red in the punny and that yellow is starting to fade out. So we'll take a very quick flash. Staying center. In the glory hole is really important. You don't want to hang it down or it'll drag. You want to go uphill or you can accidentally catch it on the door. We'll give it just a, a couple more seconds. I want to make sure to break this off. I'm using the cold part of my jacks, just like with your snow people. And I'm going to use my tweezers to break it off. And just as a quick reminder, we're not hammering it, and we're not fisting the tweezers and breaking it off. 
We're staying light in our fingertips. And then we break it off like this. Set it all the way in the back. Came right off. And assistants, make sure that you open that door all the way so then your, your partner who's on the bench can actually get in there to break it off nice and easy and safe. Um, and you want to make sure if you had a good honey or I'm sorry, a good neckline, you just look at it, see that it comes off nice and clean this way and you don't have any like rigid little pieces. If, if you do get that, you're probably a little cold or um, your neckline is just not very clean when you're making it. So that's how you make the cubes and I'll see you next time.